Hello and welcome to another tutorial video. I hope you're doing well today. And today what we're going to be doing is working on an analysis of the piece of music on page 181, which is the first question in the Unit 14 um, Royal Conservatory Level 9 Harmony course. <laughs> so let's actually uh, share the screen and work on this together. Now in the previous videos in this part of um, the tutorial playlist, um, what I have outlined are the various forms within um, musical analysis that are covered in this textbook and also some musical ideas that I played and then we outlined some of the various structural aspects. So some of the goals that we're going to be working on today are outlined on the top of this page and all of the subsequent questions that we will be doing in, that you would be doing um, not only together today in this piece but also in the homework and also what you would be doing on your exam um, is basically following the same se uh, steps. First of all, we want to identify the principal key. What scale are we in for the piece? And then as well, we want to decide on the form. Um, what is it a, a binary of some sort or ternary form? Then you want to label the sections with capital letters, um, section A, section B, etc. And then indicate um, if there are any repeating sections and also mark the structural phrasing. So where are this musical sentence is starting and finishing? And also the key at the end of each musical sentence and what the cadence is. So let's look at together at this piece. First of all, um, what we can do is uh, use a pen here and mark down that this is section A. It's always easy to find that section. And then actually section B starts off in the pickup to bar nine. Now, something that we can also do is see how there is, uh, this is a gavotte, so we have a two beat pickup at the beginning of each musical sentence. So therefore, the first structural phrase goes all the way to here, to the two first two beats of bar four. And then the next structural phrase goes all the way to the end of the second line. And now the next structural phrase starts off the two beat pickup to bar nine and travels all the way to the first two beats of bar 12. And then the last structural phrase goes all the way to the end. Now, something that's interesting about this piece is that if you notice here the rhythm We have the same kind of rhythm that occurs in the last part of the piece. But it's a very different melody. Even though the rhythm is the same, a way that we can outline a rounded binary piece is when the melody and rhythm are exactly the same at the beginning and also when the, the main theme returns. So what I would suggest that we uh, mark down for this particular piece at this is this is a simple binary form because the um, musical sentences outline a, a structure in which the first section is eight bars long, the second section is also eight bars long, but there is no material that's this exactly the same. It's They have two contrasting um, periods within each section of the piece. Now what we can do next is then go to the um, cadences. And something that's kind of fancy here is what the composer does is actually a 5-6-5 five, five, of 5 going to 5-4-3, which is kind of fancy, in the key of E major. Or you can also think of it as five of five going to five in the key of A. So we can do that, right, A major there. But then at the end of the next phrase, we really are V6, four, five, three to one in the key of E major. Now, something that's kind of fun is when we get to the next musical sentence, we have a one to five right here, 
in the key of A. And then we have um, right here, V6453, or some people write 5 right here to 1 in the key of A. So we could say then that this first musical sentence could be thought of as there are two different possibilities. One is to think of this as a chromatic passing note, and we go two to five, which is a half cadence, or we can go uh, five of five to five, which would still technically be a half cadence here. Um, let me just erase that little blip. Just due to space, I'm putting it in the middle, but the best thing to do is always write this beside the half cadence. And then here, we have a, an authentic cadence. Now, um, when we get to definitely the first musical sentence in section B, we have a half cadence. And then at the end, we have an authentic cadence. So the fun thing here is that we've looked at all the details. We've seen what the form is. We then outline the, the structural sections. And actually, by doing the structural sections first, that helps to outline the form. <laughs> uh, chicken and egg, I guess. Then we have the um, phrasing marked in, and then the cadences and the key of each cadence. So I hope that this uh, information was helpful. And um, that, that's, that um, list actually is very helpful when organizing and uh, analyzing any piece of music. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you next for another tutorial soon. And until then, please share this information with others. And if you haven't already subscribed, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you very soon for another um, set of videos. Take care for now and keep enjoying your music.